Okay, this is a, your main. This is your branch line. These axes are sprinklers. This is your walls of your building. Okay. Really quickly, <laughs> this is how you do your remote area. You always got to go to your most remote area. Get it? Got it. What's remote for this point? Typically, it's going to be that. But it's also your most demanding area. So it doesn't always doesn't always work out that it's the most remote location. You know, if I had if I had this building, this is all light hazard, but I had a tire store right here in the building. Well, that's probably more demanding, even though it's closer to my water supply. So that might be more demanding than that. 14 k But to make it easy, let's say it's all light hazard, it's all the same. This is the furthest place water has to get to, right? Okay. So I have to draw my remote area. This is how you do it. Book tells you. <laughs> 1,500 square feet for light hazard is what you have to protect. Your design area is 1,500 square foot minimum. Okay, without doing any exceptions or adjustments, we're going to say it's got to be 1,500 square feet. So you're like, okay, i got to encompass 1,500 square foot of area in my calculations. So how do I draw this area, 1,500? It says then that it should be rectangular in shape. What that means? Okay. A rectangular yeah, shape. It does. And it says that the long end of the, the longer leg of the rectangle has to be parallel with your branch line. Okay? So that's starting to make a little more sense, right? It's going to be rectangle, and the rectangle is going to be parallel. And it's got to be 1,500 square feet, so that's great. So how do I know how far? So then you go one more step. The next thing is it says that length of that leg along the branch line, parallel to the branch line, that has to be equal to 1.2 times the square root of your area or your design area. Okay? So, what is our area? 1,500. 1,500. So I would say 1.2 times the square root of 1,500, it's like 40, roughly 47 feet. That's a length. That's how I say how long does it have to be. So 1.2 square root of 1,500 is about 47. So I have to go 47 feet on the long length of my rectangle parallel to my branch line. Okay. So I say where is the furthest point? This head is the farthest one. It protects to this wall and to that wall. So its protection is all the way to that corner. I start there. <laughs> Better. Nice. What happened to that super dope blue one? I don't know. Is that blue? I'm totally going to make a YouTube channel. It's just going to have videos of him explaining shit. Three views. Right? Those three views will be from me, too. <laughs> so we start here and we say, well, I have to do 1,500 square feet and I have to go 47 feet, right? So I'm going to say, what from this area where it protects to, what's 47? And where does it put me? Let's say 47 foot is there. Okay? We know that our sprinklers protect halfway between each other. So this sprinkler protects to the halfway point, right? So where that stopped, that 47, is that in the protection area of this sprinkler then? Yes. So if 47 is there, i got to pick up that sprinkler as well. So now I gotta go, and this goes all the way to halfway, so I gotta go all the way to the halfway point. Okay? If 47 was to put me to there a little bit past that halfway point, now where's that put me? Protection area of which sprinkler? This one or this one? This one. So because it's into this one, now I have to pick up that whole sprinkler. So now I have to take I'd have to take that all the way down to the protection area of that head around the Okay, so let's just go back and because of my picture here. So this already makes more sense. So let's say that 47 put me just short of the halfway point. And that means I gotta go all the way to there. Okay? This head protects halfway between two, right? So I would go halfway and I would go halfway. Okay? That would be my remote area. Because I picked up those heads. Now, how big is that? Is it 1,500 square feet? No, chances are it's probably not. It's probably like 400. So that's too small. I gotta get 1,500. 
So now, this is where it gets a little more complicated. Now this is what the code says. All you gotta do is follow this. Really easy. Whether you think it's right or not, it's right. What you need to do is you have to go to the next adjacent branch line and pick up the next head, next adjacent head on the next adjacent branch line, and you work from the side closest to the main and work your way out to the end of the branch line. Okay? So what that's telling me is if I have to add a sprinkler because it's not big enough, then I need to go to the next adjacent branch line, this one, and the next Jason has this one, because I'm still that 47 only put me in. I don't have to go further down here. I never have to go further than what it tells me. So I only have to go to here. The next adjacent mm. branch line. The head closest to the main. Which one's closest? That one, that one, or that one to the main? That head, right? I pick that up first, and then I work my way out. So if I was to add a head, I'd go halfway, 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 like that. Okay. Still not big enough. What head do I add next? I grab the next head, work my way out. So now I pick up this head. Right? Still not big enough. Pick up this head. Right? Still not big enough. Which head? Tell me when. Boom. That one? Yep. Next adjacent line, close to the main, work my way out. Now let's say I'm 1,505 square feet. What do you think? Good? Yep. That's it? Okay. okay. So let me throw a little curveball in there. This just got less confusing. Shut up. It's not complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying it's only going to take you three times or it took Ben four? Well, that's why I'm recording this. Oh, I could just like, there. I can pump in like an extra eight <laughs> times at home. Well, yeah, that's cheating, okay? We don't do that around. So, okay, now let me ask you this, throw a little curveball at you. This is my remote area, and it's too big. And I can cut out a sprinkler, because I don't need it that big. What sprinkler would you take out of the remote area? It's just working in reverse of how we added them, right? Yeah. Which one? Top that one. top left one. It's not gonna matter <laughs> that one? Yeah. You all agree? Yeah. Right, because it's, it's just in reverse of how you would add them. So yeah, it would be. Uh, now that was something I found very confusing at first was, oh, why wouldn't you go to the most remote head and work your way towards? It's because those ones closer to the main are going to overflow more, so they're going to get more water than they need, and so that is only going to take water from the further sprinklers. So it's actually harder on the remote area for those closer sprinklers than it is for the further sprinklers. It's, it's all in yeah, You ain't following it yet. Everybody wants to say this. This head is further away, so I should keep that sprinkler and take this sprinkler out because that's going to be more demanding, right? But the closer one's going to have more water. Away. That's what your head tells you. That's what everybody gets confused about. Not so some. The code is actually, the way they tell you to write it is correct because it will be more demanding. I promise you, if you run the calculation, by picking up these and cutting out this head, it will be more demanding. Because of this fact, just like he was explaining, our calculations are not supply calculations. Our calculations are demand calculations. So we start at the furthest point and say, at a minimum, I need how much? In order to get that amount of pressure to this point to get the amount of water I need of that head, what do I need? So it starts here, and then it works its way back. So it says, I need 10 PSI here, let's say, to get the water out of that head I need. Then what's the pressure going to be here? It's going to be more, right? If I need 10 at the end of the branch line, the pressure here better be higher to overcome the friction loss through that pipe. So that tells me the pressure here is higher. What's the pressure here? Higher or Higher. Higher. What's the pressure here? Higher. Higher. Okay, so now if I have the higher pressure here, now what? It gets... Lower. Lower. Higher. Lower. <laughs> Lower. Lower. Okay, so now if I take that and say, okay, what did I just say? Is the pressure at this point going to be lower or higher than the pressure at this point? Or, yeah. Lower. Yeah, it's going to be lower here. 
So this head's actually gonna have more pressure to it because it's a demand cow, so it's gonna flow overflow is what we call it. It's gonna flow more than it needs. We may only need this head to flow, whatever, 22 gallons a minute, but because of that, now it's overflowing. It's gonna flow 40 because it has more pressure than it needs at that point, and now it's overflowing, and therefore our calcs, our demands go up. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. So that's why it's confusing, but you just gotta understand that it all starts from your most demanding head, and it's a demand calc working backwards. My that's man. Sick. <laughs> Flawless victory. Because we